Slater's father had his passport taken. The authorities are preventing him from leaving. We need to pay a fee. 40,000 should do it. 40,000? We need all available data before we proceed. And if it seems right, I will go to Romania myself. He listens to you. If he insists on going, then I will leave him to protect him from harm. If you cannot convince him, then I will leave him forever. Okay, let me get this clear. You want me to talk to Luke? Would you? To tell him to send the money to your father. And to stop making trouble. If he starts this again, I will leave him forever, I swear to it. Bella. Of course. Yeah, I'll talk to him. Oh, you do not know how happy this makes me. You are such a good uh, friend to us. don't get your hopes up. Look, if Luke's already made up his mind not to pay up the... Up until a few hours ago, he fully intended to pay the money until some... Until something changed his mind. Perhaps if you talk to him again, he will change it back. He might. You hold my future in your hands. And I trust you with it. And nappies and wipes are on the changing table. Is there anything else I can help with? No, thank you. You've been amazing. Well, some would say your recovery is amazing, apart from that small tremor. Yeah. Being back here, I feel so much better being back with my little girl again. Well, and your little boy. <laughs> but enough about me. What's going on in your life? Any goss? Well, I'm still working long hours, still dating Jonathan, and recently I've conquered a particularly stubborn case of tinea. Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> I forgot to take uh, Jandals for the shower at work one day, and I told myself it'd be all right. It wasn't. Oh, let that be a lesson to you. <laughs> I'll pop by again when you call or text to say that it's appropriate. Great. Goodbye, baby. <laughs> See you later. See ya. Bye. Who's texting you? TK. Ah, oh, checking up on me, naturally. No, he wasn't. Yeah, what did he want then? He just said that he found another bottle and asked if we needed it. That's checking up. Are you sure you're okay? I'm fine. And I don't need babysitting 24-7, so if you have a real life to tend to. <laughs> no real life. But, hey, cup of tea? No. Well, yes, but I'll get it. Just because I can. And then she said, my future is in your hands, take care of it, or something like that. Sounds melodramatic. Yeah, so now she expects me to go back to Luke and say, you know what, go ahead, give away $40,000. I mean, $40,000, Lana, it's just so much money. Luke is a grown man, and allegedly quite intelligent. If he wants to give away all his money, or not, he will, or won't. Yeah, well, Zlata thinks he'll listen to my advice, because he already did when I told him not to, but I don't even really remember telling him not to. All I did was wonder if Bella. he was... Yes? What do you actually want? What? Do you want Zlata to leave the country? Well, it would be really, really mean if I said... Yes, more than anything, wouldn't it? Maybe, but it would also be true. It just might be better for Luke, that's all. You know, if his fiance is dodgy and trying to rip him off. Is she? I don't know. I don't think so. I think she might really love him. I mean, what's not to love? Oh, sorry, we woke you. Have you had any sleep yet? Uh, as soon as my head hit the pillow, she started up. Babies are good like that. <sighs> well, you need to get a good sleep, so give her to me. I'll take no, 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 no. I, I, thanks. I can do it. At least, I hope I can. She's fed, she's swindled, her nappy's dry. I'm overtired. Yeah, well, she's unsettled because she's not used to me. <laughs> no. She's had a different home for the past little while. TK and Roy might are smothering her bits. Look, you're her mum. Yeah, but I haven't been here for her. Don't. I was allowed to take her with me. The MS people made it very clear. But I couldn't handle it up here. And in the last few days, they said, just let Tilly stay. And, and, and I couldn't do it. You made the right choice. You did what you needed to do to get better. She's a baby. She's not grumpy with you. And babies cry. That's their gig. <laughs> Sorry, 
sorry, Luke. Just shove this stuff out the way. I'm just looking for a lip gloss. The other one didn't match. You know how it is. Well, not you personally, but I'm sure you're knowledgeable about that sort of stuff in general. Oh, our old friend, the beta blockers. Empty. Abandoned. Uh, remind me, uh, dumped down the toilet, were they? Smashed on the kitchen bench. Mum saved the bottle. She keeps putting it in my bag. And that's so you can get a repeat. How handy. I know. Just take the damn pills. I can't preach to you anymore. Just take care of yourself. In fact, you look a little washed out today. Are you tired? Overdoing it? Uh, I had a talk with Slater. That would do it. No, it was okay. Bella, I, I do apologize. She shouldn't be dragging you into... Uh, she was upset. She needed a friend to talk to, and seeing as I'm her only friend. You are, aren't you? Pause Lata. Why pause Lata? Oh, no, I didn't mean having you in particular as her only friend makes her poor Lata. You're a good friend. She's very lucky. We both are. Uh, if you don't pay the bribe, Lata's father's sunk. So she says. You don't believe it? I did until... Until I opened my big mouth. You didn't say anything I wasn't already thinking. Am I being taken for a fool? To think that a beautiful woman could fall for someone like me. Luke. You're really nice and kind and thoughtful and brainy. Of course Lada fell for you. Why wouldn't anyone? You're very sweet. It's just if you love Zlata, then you should trust her. That's all. You mean that, don't you? Yeah, I do. You're right. Thank you. You're welcome. Come on, where are you, little burp? You must have wind, because I don't know why else you're crying. How many hours did you end up getting? Half hours, don't you mean? Seriously, this could never stop. <laughs> well, then she's crying now because she's exhausted. Now maybe we should just put her down and let her yell herself to sleep. No, I can't do that. I know you meant to, but... Oh, damn it, Tico said she was sleeping through most of the night, just up for a feed, and that's it. Well, I'll give him a ring, eh? See if he's got any tricks. No, it's too early, and I don't need any tricks. I just need her to go to sleep. Okay, well, let me no, take her... No, no. Sorry. I know you're just trying to help, but um, I'm her mum. And if I don't start getting something right, I'm going to feel like a complete incompetent. Which you're not. But fair enough. Hey, Roma, that's Daniel. Yeah, good, good. I am Sarah doesn't know I'm calling, but man, we could really do some advice. Yep, yeah, I'll hold. Seriously, if I bring a packed lunch every day, then that's like 30 bucks a week I can put into the Christmas and summer fund. Babe, you don't need to save. You don't need a huge amount of money. You're underestimating the volume of cocktails I intend to consume. Well, OK, then, if you make a, your own plunger of coffee, Instead of buying one at the cafe, how much do you say? No, you're just being silly. Ah. Mm. Morning. Hi. Hey. Can I steal you away before your shift starts? I've written down some more plans for alternative funding. Does it have to be right now? Um, we could do it later. I know you've got the afternoon off. Uh, so is my girlfriend. We are planning an afternoon at home. Ah. But you can gate crash if you want. We were just going to sift around and watch DVDs. Why don't you guys do your work while I sift around and watch DVDs? Ah, I wouldn't want to intrude. I know Maxwell is burning to get the work done, but he's just trying to be a good, attentive boyfriend. So, hey, hon, I don't mind, really. All right, then. My place it is. Great. And if you want, you can ditch the DVDs and come help us out. Really? Well, fresh pair of eyes and all that. Good plan? Excellent plan. 